G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a HP 15S FQ1052TU, and I wanna open it up and replace the thermal paste that's on here. So this one, it's got a little bit of age to it, and I wanna do a fresh install afterwards. So I'll take these off, like so. And down here as well. And that's the adhesive staying there. I want that to stay attached to the feet. There we go. Next up from here, small Phillips head screwdriver. Take these screws out. Now I think most of these screws are the same length. So this should be neat, shouldn't need to worry about where you put them. black ones here are, do look to be slightly different. This one here doesn't want to leave for me. Nope. There we go. And next up, I'll start on this side over here, just because there's less, know, not overly less IO. I'm gonna grab a corner. Go okay, and we're in. Now, what I can see from here, it's a battery that I want to disconnect. It does take the battery HT03XL, which is a fairly common HP battery. Do want to disconnect the battery as it will be taken off the heatsink. Uh, now if I lift this up, there we go, one battery. This one's from originally 2020, so we'll be getting a tired battery there. We do have one NVMe drive over here in, top, in front of the battery. If I take out this Phillips screw, or this Phillips head screw, and then lift this up slightly and walk it back. There we go. Uh, what are we, an NVMe? Yep, a 512 gig NVMe. Fairly standard. That will slide into this gap, push in, drop. All the gold pins disappeared and we're nice and snug up here. If you do replace yours, you will either have to do clone it to a new drive prior or after using a live boot CD, or you'll have to reinstall Windows off a USB to, the, to your new SSD. If you have a look over here at the RAM, these two tabs pull out. Do that over here. There we go. And we have 8 gig of PC4 2666. So not exactly super fast stuff, but stuff nonetheless. Put that in there. If I have a look at my collection, I may have another stick to put in there. So then I can get it running with 8 gig of RAM. I have 4 gig of the same brand. 4, 4, 4, I have 8, 4, 4, 4, another 4, 4, wow, a lot of 4s. Nope, looks like we're going 12 gig of RAM in total. So I'll use that one, just slots in on a 45 degree angle, then pull down. Slots in, push down, click in. Now, all in the fours. Okay, now what I came in here for was to do, redo the thermal paste on the Intel i5 temp gen. Not too sure what model it is exactly off the top of my head. By the way, I'll get some fresh paste on this. As it is from the 2020. Okay. I assume that should be able to lift up. Flip. Oh, the iGPU also has thermal paste. That is pretty rare, actually. 
Uh, and this is gonna have a drink of alcohol. Same on here. Use some good old tissue paper. Toilet paper, tissue paper. Does the same stuff. It wipes up the thermal paste. Now I'm going to use some GD900 thermal grease, just some cheap stuff that I purchased that comes in a very large quantity of 30 grams rather than a small syringe. Thermal paste spatula. This stuff's pretty runny, I'll give it a mix around prior to using it. And get rid of some of it because I'm not going to need all of it, especially in such a small section. Tapes. Tricky on this one. Wasn't my best application of it. Well, that's going to do the job just fine. Now, thermal paste, no matter how you do it, you're always done it wrong. So, leave your comments in the comments. I'll put this back on. Flip this back over. Go. Two, three, four. We'll go give that a quick dust blow it. A little bit cleaner. Now time to put the battery back in. Push and the screws. I don't remember exactly where I got the screws from, but there's plenty of spots to put them in. Okay. I'm going to put the bottom cover back on. Phillips head screws back in. Hands are a bit cold and slippery.
Yeah, just a little bit of drama sticking this one back down. What's going on? That's all in there. It's good. Cut off this mangy bit here. Sadly, these ones do definitely not stay in a good condition, that's for sure. They get pretty weathered and pretty ugly over time. Go. I hope that helps you with your FQ1010. 1052TU. Gonna reinstall Windows on here and go from there. Bye.